Yeah, g'day folks, it's me back again with another toy that I wanted to quickly show you guys and do a bit of a, a look at. Um, it's not a review, it's not a comparison. Uh, this is a Fissler 34 centimeter, huge 34 centimeter original Profi fry pan or skillet which again I bought second hand online only for the purpose of doing a video so you know the procedure by now if you're interested hit me up in the comments and I'll be happy to sell it to you after I'm done with it for the same price that I bought it for um, no in fact I'll even go better than that I, I bought this for 95 euros but it does have some uh, let's say signs of use on the bottom I'll try to clean it as best as, best as I can uh, but um, for 75 euros, it's yours, right? So that's um, that's the deal. And uh, but uh, structurally, it's in perfect condition. And um, you know this this is built like a tank, so it will always be in uh, perfect structural condition, regardless of how it looks. So now let's have a look at the product range and what this product actually is. So this um, this original Profi fry pan is their top of the line fry pans okay and the construction is basically the same as uh, the original profi sauce pans or casserole so in other words it's got a single layer body with a very thick bottom a okay? very very thick bottom uh, so now note that Fistler uh, as far as I know as far as I can see they don't have any fully clad products and um, this is the 2019 version, so it is sold uh, up until 2019. So this size in 34 centimeters is actually no longer available. Okay, so they only do the 24 and 28. Um, and they have a new version, which is, well, the construction is the same, but the design is, uh, the handle is slightly different. But So let's go have a look at that quickly on the computer and we'll come back here to the table. So here we are on the Fister USA website. Now the pen that I have is from this 2019 series. And as you can see, uh, come on. Now, as you can see, it only comes in these days in 24 and 28 centimeter versions, but otherwise the pen is exactly the same. Now, I don't know how much longer they are going to be sell selling this for, um, because this is actually already no longer available on the European, on the German website. And uh, now this is the version that they are now currently selling. So this is the new version. And uh, uh, it's always here we are. This is the new version. Uh, they are selling it at exactly the same price. And now you can see a couple of design differences. One is the handle. So the handle, it looks to be, uh, I don't know if this is a solid stainless steel handle, but it looks, I guess, more premium. Um, it looks like it's solid, but I'm not sure if it really is. And uh, on the inside, you've got this, um, uh, this I guess, I, I don't know, what's the name for this? Uh, yeah, I can't remember, but it's, it's like this golf ball texture, but I really don't know if it, uh, has any practical benefits or it's just a bit of a gimmick. But overall, the construction of the pan is exactly the same as you can see on the bottom. I'm almost certain it's just got exactly the same disc. Okay, so now let's move on. Now, for the paperwork and the specifications. So again, I'm talking about a pan that you technically cannot buy new anymore, but uh, just for the sake of it, this pan in 34 centimeters is 2.5 kilograms okay and the diameter well it is 34 uh, let's have a look yep it's 34 centimeters in diameter and the total length it's so big that i have to use a tape measure uh, the length is 59 centimeters uh, the bottom diameter okay so this is important if you you know want to make sure that it fits on your hob the bottom is 26 and a half centimeters and the thickness uh well i couldn't find any uh, literature on it but the thickness I'm, I'm guessing is about six to seven millimeters on the bottom okay so very very thick now 
I want to do a physical, quick physical comparison with the Fisler Rondeau that I have. And there's a reason I'm doing it. And that's because even though, uh, well, it's kind of strange that I'm comparing a skillet to a Rondeau, but even before this pen arrived in the mail, my prediction was that the base of this pen, right, is going to be exactly the same as the base that they use on their 28 centimeter rondeau and it turns out i was correct <laughs> so um so this is the reason i'm comparing because these two pans they are basically the same one's a rondeau one's a fry pan but the construction is really the same um, so the the bottom here is exactly the same as the bottom here so this is the uh, again 26 and a half centimeters and uh, this is exa exactly the same. Okay. Now next, I want to do a quick comparison with my Proline 7 fry pan. And the reason I'm doing that is, uh, well, they are both very heavy duty fry pans. So let's quickly do that now. So here is the um, Fister 34 centimeters fry pan and this is the 32 centimeter Atlantis Proline 7 from Demeter. Now they look or well, they are practically exactly the same size despite the fact that this is marketed as 34 and this is marketed as 32. So like I said in my previous video or video videos, Demela they were very generous with what they call a 32 or 28 or 24 centimeter pans because they are really bigger than their, um, their size on paper. So now both of these pans are exactly 34 centimeters edge to edge in diameter. Okay. In fact, the Demela is even half a centimeter or about half a centimeter bigger. Um, and, and they call this a 32. Uh, the flat cooking area, uh, again, I measured before, it's almost exact, exactly the same. This is about 26 and a half centimeters. And this on the Demela Atlantis, uh, uh, sorry, Proline 7, it is uh, well, so maybe a half a centimeter smaller, but it's um, about 26. So, uh, yeah, pra again, practically the same. Okay. Now, in the white, um, so 2.5. Uh, and this is slightly heavier. This is about 2.75, so 250 grams heavier on the Proline 7. So now next, where um, I thought, uh, again, I'm comparing a product that's technically you cannot buy anymore, but I, um, I did some temperature distribution testing, and, uh, and let's have a look at that on the computer. Okay, so here we are looking at the results of the temperature distribution test. Now, there was almost no point in me doing the fizzler because I knew exactly how it was going to behave because, again, like I said, the bottom is the same as the rondeau that I have. And the results are basically identical with negligible differences. Okay, so now I have always been extremely impressed with how evenly the bottom of the fizzler distributes the heat. And as you can see here, uh, the bottom is 26 and a half centimeters. Uh, my electric hob is 21 and a half, so there's quite a bit of overhang that's not covering the hob. Uh, and, uh, and the temperature difference is uh, less than 20 degrees. Now that's extremely impressive. Now my experience with cladded pans like the Proline 7, um, they, 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 they don't tend to distribute heat as well on, a, on an electric hob. Uh, as a disc bottom, so the temperature difference on the Proline 7 here is, well, significantly bigger. Um, but it's not um, it's not deterring me from using the pen. I still really, really enjoy using the pen, and I will still choose the Proline 7 over the, the this particular Fister pen. But um, yeah, you do get a bigger temperature difference between the edge and the center uh, on the Proline 7. Now, the next important difference is that again, like I predicted, as I knew, the Fizzler, it cooks, because of that very, very thick bottom, it cooks a lot slower than the Proline 7. Um, and uh, so this gray line here uh, is the Proline 7, the blue line is the Fizzler. And from the middle of the test up to the end, you could see that the Fizzler cooks anywhere between two minutes to two and a half minutes slower than the Proline 7. 
Okay. So in terms of the temperature distribution, I'm going to give it a win to the give a win to the Fizzler. Um, but in terms of how fast or how slow it cooks, well, there is no real winner here uh, because uh, while well, the Fizzler is a pan that just cooks extremely slow, it's the slowest cooking pan. It's slower than any of the cast iron I've used. Even the Proline 7 is slower than any of the cast iron I use. So that kind of dispels the myth of cast iron being able to cook um, well, low and slow. Uh, but anyway, that's getting away from the point. Um, and the Proline 7, in my case, it already has enough thermal mass on the bottom. It's already more than enough. Uh, for what I need in terms of steering, so um, so I'm not re I'm not complaining about that at all. Okay, all right. So now let's move on to the next part of this quick video. All right. So back to the Fizzler itself. Uh, let's let's sum this video up by talking about some advantages and disadvantages um, and a quick summary. Uh, again, I mean, the, the intention was not to compare the Fizzler with the Atlantis, uh, but just in my opinion, I would still use the Atlantis, uh, the Proline 7, okay? Um, because for some reason, I just find the Proline 7 very enjoyable to use, despite the fact that it doesn't perform as well as the Fizzler in terms of the um, temperature distri distribution. And for a fry pan, I do prefer, even though the advantages, to be honest, in terms of in, in the practical world, it may be somewhat minimal, uh, but I do prefer the construction, let's say, of a fully cladded um, fry pan. Okay. So, again, this 34 centimeter model, uh, I think you can only find this on the second hand market now, but, um, but everything that I've said, um, also will somewhat apply to the smaller versions, the 24 and the 28 centimeter models. Okay, so the difference, for example, in the um, in how fast or how slow it cooks, let's just wait for the noise, there we go. The difference in how fast or how slow it cooks, the difference in the temperature distribution, is just going to be scaled down um, in, in more or less in proportion when you go to the smaller sizes, okay. so. What are the disadvantages? Uh, sorry, what are the advantages? Um, well, basically, now this pan it holds more heat than anything else I've used. Okay, so if you if you have especially an electric top and as with a with a somewhat small hob, uh, smaller than the base of the pan, then I would um, say that this pan is a very very good option because it holds so much heat that you don't need a lot of support from your hob when you. Uh, when you put the food into the pan, especially if you want to sear uh, a big batch or or a heavy piece of meat, and uh, the temperature distribution is well was very impressive as you saw. Um, so that's another advantage to the uh, to this Fizzler. Now the disadvantage is that well again it's not really going to apply if you can buy it, but. With this 34 centimeter model, it's quite heavy, so just because of the weight, I would not say it's a pen for everybody. And uh, what else have I got? And overall, look, I'm sure it's 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 a high quality product. Uh, it's it's a shame that you know you're not able to buy this large version anymore, but you can of course still buy this one if you're interested. Uh, and um, so yeah, so I hope that was a. Um, Good quick look at the Fizzler. Uh, again, I, I, I was not intending this to be a comparison. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.